Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show how to remove the system state backup automatically. So I have a server and I assign this drive only for my system state backup. Uh, when I go on admin center and the backup is done every day automatically and I have 19 copy of the backups so it's occupied the space uh, at the moment it doesn't interrupt my backup process and every day the, the new file will be uh, overwrite on the older data but I will show how to do that and follow me please so first thing first I need to get the PowerShell so you might ask why I need to install the PowerShell Win 7. I tried this process and it didn't work with the native PowerShell on the server. So I'm going to get the latest PowerShell 7 for my server at the moment. If you just Google it, it will come up with the uh, Microsoft website. So that path is very important for us. So just remember it. So I will go with the default settings. Okay, so now my PowerShell is installed. So I need to run a PowerShell every day to clean up these backups. My, my PowerShell key is this one. It's very easy. So it will tell me that it is going to delete the system state backup and only keep the last three versions. And this is for I put the result somewhere on my hard drive so let me to modify for example result now I need to go and create a folder I will call it a script okay I'm going to C drive create a folder and call it script script okay now I need to go file save as and call this one also script one so choose all files here and put the extension of the file as a ps1 which is for PowerShell and save it so I save it somewhere different sorry Okay, save go to C script PS1 okay now my file is here so I need to go on the Windows scheduler like task scheduler and create a new task here create a basic task okay so what should I call it I will call it uh, system state backup cleanup with next so I want to run it like it doesn't matter daily weekly I will run it daily so at what time so at for now I will put something else uh, okay now I will run it at four o'clock that's fine or maybe four oh five okay 
start a program leave this one as a default okay where I want to start a program I need to go and browse also one more thing I need to go here to the location where my PowerShell is installed and find the PowerShell installer like exe file this one go to properties no sorry go to compatibility and run this program as administrator so your user must be administrator and now go back here and you need to put the path for Or you can just go here and choose the same file So the argument here is a little bit tricky and we need to address to to the file. So my folder name is script and I need to put the name of the file here. So my name of the file is script1 inside the folder script. And we need to put this one execute policy execution policy because running this program need uh, run as administrator and this command will bypass that one for us so that so this step is very important to follow and this one also should be it's better to put this one also here like the folder address now I'm going to finish okay so this one is ready right now it's 404 and based on this file it should create a text file as a result in my folder here in the C so I need to wait until maybe a couple of seconds and this file will be executed and also uh, I have a result in that text file which show me my script is successful or not so I will leave it here for maybe some second uh, one more thing I just forget to add you need to go on properties and it's better to change it run it with the administrator highest privilege and maybe it's better to change it as a system file account not your administrator so I make it as a system and apply okay now my file was executed and here is the result here so as you can see it delete 16 version of my Windows state so I have here before 90 copies and based on what I tell to the script just keep three last three keep versions so here also the append will add the more results so if I run it again it will append the result here and add it to the same file with the same file name so the process will automated and it will run every day so as you can see half of my space is available now and based on the task scheduler it will do it every day on the specific time and uh, your file your drive never fill up again so I hope you learned something from this this with you and you can automate any process with PowerShell by this method 
and it's very easy uh, without any problem if you try with the windows powershell probably you will n you you are not able to do that usually because of the permissions and running the powershell as administrator they might be block you so that's the easiest way to install the powershell 7 and do it with powershell 7 please subscribe to my channel for more tips